What is up, guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode 70 of my Out of the Park Baseball 17 franchise. Here with the Kansas City Royals, and this is the last time I'm going to be saying those words. This is the final episode of this series and of this season of Out of the Park Baseball. The next episode on my channel, 23 days from now, will be OTP 18. And, you know, let's save the sappy stuff for after the baseball, because right now, folks, it's time for the World Series. Let's check out uh, the San Diego Padres, a team we've had much dealings with throughout this series they were 92 and 70 on the season two games better than us leading off travis banks 264 384 on base 10 home runs he used to be a royal we traded him and then he got really good so um you know you win some you lose some and we definitely lost that one jalen murray 33 years old hit 331 with just one home run Alex Uria hit 205 with 20 home runs out of the three slot. And then Keith Reamers, who honestly is probably going to be the National League MVP, 360 average, 410 on base, 44 home runs, 8.4 wins above replacement. Shortstop Todd Ray Reynoso, 244, 16 home runs. Tyler Bourne, 247, 10 home runs. Luke Cobbins, 242, 10 home runs. And Francisco Alonso, who looks like he'll be a pretty good player in a couple of years. He hit 227 with eight home runs. Their starting rotation, Ivan Ortiz, the Cy Young winner last year, question? Nope, he is not. He was close, though, I remember. Yeah, he was second in the 2034 Cy Young race. This year, slight regression from last year, but still been really good in his fourth year, third full year in MLB. 287 ERA, 210 innings pitched. The lefty had 5.4, 5.8 wins above replacement. Second spot is another lefty, Juan Moran, 252 ERA, 222 innings pitched, 352 ERA, sorry. Matt Megos, a veteran righty, 350 ERA, only pitched 82 innings, which makes me think he was out of the bullpen and is now in the starting rotation. And Josh G, 356, so pretty good rotation from them. Closer is Nate Daly, 453. Omar Casillas is their setup, 348. They've got a couple, they've got a pretty good bullpen. The rest is under uh, four, so. You know, they're do their bullpen is a strength for them. And do they have anyone major on the DL? They've got a reliever and a reliever who don't really matter. So, yeah. Um, we are without Jason Fox. We are also temporarily without Momosuke Okazaki. In a couple days, we will see where he is at. He's not on the DL yet. His in diagnosis is still pending. But without further ado... Let's get on to the World Series. We have to mess with our lineup. Of course we do. All right, I'll just do it for today before we know what's up with him. Wagner, six. And then, nope, I'm trying to move him. Thank you very much. And then put Canterbury, seven, in left. All right. This is it. A final episode of this series starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kansas City. Oh, is it from Kansas City? It's not from Kansas City. I got you guys there. <laughs> Gotta do this again now. Anyway, for the final time this series, from Petco Park in San Diego, ladies and gentlemen, a 2035 World Series begins right now.
the 2035 World Series here on Fox. We've got the American League champions, Kansas City Royals, taking on the National League representative, San Diego Padres, who have both a Cy Young and an MVP candidate on their team in pitcher Ivan Ortiz and first baseman uh, Keith Reamers. Meanwhile, Kansas City, after two straight years of defeat at the hands of the Baltimore Orioles, beat them in the 2035 ALCS and advanced to the World Series. San Diego... Uh, well, let me check. I would like to check when they last won the World Series. Should have done that before now. Can't anymore. Royals last won the World Series in 2015, and they made it... I don't remember... I'm a really shitty commentator. Anyway, from Petco Park, we've got the World Series. Welcome. That was excellent timing on my part. I was not intentional or planned out by any means, as you can tell my by blabbering and not knowing statistics. But, game one from San Diego starts right now. Top of the first, Royals have a runner on second with one out for Jonathan Ramirez. Three and two on the lefty, Ramirez swings and pops it up. Near home plate, Uria has it. Two down for Alejandro Lopez. Van Grift at second, two outs, and that's going to be a passed ball and or wild pitch, and Van Grift to third with two down, and that's a balk. So a wild pitch and a balk gives Kansas City the one nothing lead. How about that? Bottom first, though, San Diego strikes back. Two-run home run from Keith or sorry, from Alex Uria facing Royals pitcher Jose Andrade. So it is 2-1 after 1. Top 2 Royals runners on the corners with 2 outs for Andrade. Here in the National League, we've got the pitcher hitting. Ortiz's pitch is lined to right field. Bourne makes a sliding catch, robbing the pitcher of a hit and the Royals of a run. Still 2-1 San Diego. Now San Diego striking here. 2-1. On nobody out, 3-1 and one on Francisco Alonso, and that's going to be a ball. Bases loaded, nobody out for the pitcher, Ivan Ortiz. 1-1 one and one on the lefty, Andrade to the plate. That's grounded down the line. Wagner f get, goes to first out, but a run will score, and the other two runners will advance. It is now 3-1 San Diego. Now Travis Banks up to the plate, 2-2 two -two pitch is Grounded left side, Stevens on to first. Banks is out, but Cobbins will score. It is 4-0 San Diego. 1-2 pitch on Murphy. Murray's grounded to Vandegrift on to first, and that's the ending. But San Diego strikes for two more, and they now lead by 3-4-1. I realize that was probably confusing. Now a two-run home run from Taylor or from Todd Reynoso. So Andrade really struggling here. He's given up two runs in each of the first two innings, and now a runner on second with two outs. That'll be it for him. Adam Jay's going to come on to pitch, and Jose Andrade cannot get through three innings. And Jay's down on the count 3-0 against the eight hitter. That's a poor guy to walk because you want the pitcher leading off next inning. 1-0 on Ortiz is grounded to the right side. Vandegrift to second base and that's the inning but San Diego gets two more and they now lead it 6-1 and the Royals are struggling to make any sort of comeback they have not scored since the first inning it is now 7-1 a solo home run from Keith Reamers and another solo home run from Luke Cobbins it is 8-1 now two on with one out for Kansas City trailing by seven here Get up Felix Cordova. They've got Wagner up with two in scoring position and one out. The pitch is flied to deep left field. Banks going back, and that is gone. So Kansas City cuts it into the lead a bit. It is now 8-4. Royals still trailing. All right. Jay gets through the sixth, no problem. So I'll put in Cordova next inning as Acosta will pinch um, hit. Royals got a base hit, but couldn't quite get anything across. 
So Cordova will come on, and immediately he's given up two base runners. Now bases now three and two pitch is grounded to Van Griff. Four, six, three, double play, two down. Yuri at a third for Tyler Bourne. One for two on the day. Padres looking to extend their already four-run lead, and that's grounded to the right side. Wagner to the bag himself. That's the inning. So the Royals need four runs in two innings. They've got a decent start. Lead off double by Jonathan Ramirez. Now Alejandro Lopez up. Brian Wickland gets a ground ball from Lopez to short. One away. Now Matt Wagner. The one for three on the day with a home run. The 2-2 pitch is grounded to the left side. Cobbins to first. Two down. Ramirez again has to hold. So now Canterbury up. Three and two. Two out. And he swings and misses. And so the leadoff double comes to nothing. It is still 8 for San Diego. I'll just go. And, yep, that's it. Royals lose game one by a score of 8 to 4. Padres take it. They have won the World Series in this series, in this um, OTP series. And now I can check it. As Okazaki. Will be out for the rest of the playoffs. We will add. Where is he? Him, Raul Jimenez. Is he already on the active roster? No, there's an L there. I. Click the L key like five times and didn't go through. Okay. Am I going crazy? We do have a guy named Raul Jimenez, right? <laughs> Apparently not. You guys know who I'm talking about, right? He's on the 40 man. Yeah, there he is. Why didn't it come up? Oh, it's Jimenez, not Jimenez. So we will place him on the playoff roster as depth. We've got... Hmm, interesting. Vandegrift in left, which does work well. What's his rating if we put him in left? The same. All right. Um, and that second goes Nichols. I'm perfectly fine with that, even though we now have no infield depth. But you know what? We can shuffle people around. Game two will be Kyle Bateman versus Josh G. Royals looking to even it up, headed back to Kansas City. And they take a one nothing lead in the first on an RBI double by Alejandro Lopez. Now Matt Wagner grounds out to short to end the inning. But the Royals strike first once again. This time, San Diego's not answer back. But they do as soon as I say that. Keith Reamer's leadoff home run to start the fourth. Now a RBA double with two outs. So Francisco Alonso really hurting the Royals this series. It's 2-1 after 2 as he strikes out Josh G. Why does this seem familiar? Oh, Royals tie it on a solo shot by Dale Vandegrift. I forgot to check who the ALCS MVP was. So Bateman struggling two as well as he strikes out Uria with two on and nobody out. Now two on, one out. We should probably just walk Reamers because he's, he's like the Jonathan Ramirez in their team. So we've got Todd Ramos. So don't walk him now. That's a line towards short. Castaneda can't get it. Banks scores. Murray rounding third. He scores. Throw to the plate. Wait. And safe. And the runners advance. So the throw really hurts us more than it helped us. I never understood how batters always are able to advance. And bases loaded. Bateman also struggling. Luke Cobbins 2-2 pitch. Fly ball left field. Mills makes the cat. Mm -mm. Okay. 5-2. to two. So I guess Vandegrift's playing second against righties. Or lefties. And another walk for Bateman. That's his fourth of the game. 
Now 2-0 on G, but he grounds out to second base to end the inning. But Bateman also struggling. Starting pitching has not given us much help so far. Now runner on second, nobody out for Matt Wagner, and that's a drive into right field. Bourne going back, and that is gone. Matt Wagner with his second home run of the series, his fourth of the playoffs, and it is 5-4 San Diego now. Can Bateman do anything good? Answer is no. Leadoff double to Banks. We got to get him out of there. He's just falling apart. He at least got farther than Ascencio did. 2 2 pitches grounded to second. Bandegrift on to first. One out. Runner advances to third. Mm. Now 0 2 on Alex Uria. Struck him out. It's a big strikeout there for Bateman. Can he get through Keith Reimers is the question. 0-1 on the powerful first baseman. And that's driven to left field. Mills can't get it. That's going to be a double. And it is 6-4. San Diego, that's it for Bateman. Three and two-thirds innings pitch. Six earned runs. Man, our starting pitching really struggling. So Scott Latimer will enter to pitch. He's got uh, Ray Noso down in the count, uh, one and two. That's grounded to second. Vandergrift on to first. And he's safe. An easy ground ball. He took his sweet time. And that could give San Diego another run as Mills makes the play. So it won't hurt us after all. 6-4 San Diego after four. Latimer leading off, but the Royals have two on with two outs for Alejandro Lopez. 3-2 pitch. Driven to deep left field. Murray going, and that is gone. Three-run home run from Alejandro Lopez makes it 7-6 Kansas City. That's his first of the series and his third of the playoffs. So Ramirez, after a cold start, has now bet, it got his average up to 342, and everyone in the first top five are almost all above three or 290. Except for Lopez, who's at 289. But then after that, it goes 143, 231, 200. So, not a great drop-off for the Royals. But they do lead it now. Can the bullpen come through? Good inning by Latimer. He is already at 20 pitches, though. So I think we got to get you know, Wayne Green up or somebody. All right. Castaneda on second with one out, so we will be pinch hitting for Scott Latimer. 2-2 pitch on Stevens is looped into center field. Murray makes the catch. All right, so facing the righty, do we have a lefty off the bench? We have Jeremy Canterbury. He will pinch hit versus Wickland. He's down on the count, 1-2 and two with a runner on second and... Two outs, the pitch, strike three looking, and that's the inning. Still 7-6 Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, I know. I did that intentionally. All right, Wayne Green will enter as the pitcher here in the bottom of the sixth and immediately gives up a double to the lefty. He was, or Banks is a switch hitter, I guess. That's fair. But he strikes out Murray. Good comeback. It is now runner on second and... One out. Uriah has struck it out three times so far. He's down in the count again. But that time it's a ground ball to short. Castaneda on to first. Low. Wagner on the hop. Out. Banks to third. For Keith Reamers. Lefty on lefty. Reamers is two for two. Tying run. 90 feet away with two outs. Ground ball third base side. Stevens on to first. And that's the inning. So good play by Micah Stevens. Good pitching by Wayne Green. And the Royals keep their lead. So they've got a righty, lefty, and a righter coming up. So it's time for Matt DeFranc. Top seven Royals looking for insurance. They will not get it there. All right, we'll bring in DeFranc and go batter by batter. Leading off is Todd Reynoso. 2-2 count on him. He is 3-for-3 on the day so far. And that's a ground ball, third base side. Stevens on to first, out, one away. Now Tyler Bourne, the lefty, he's over 2 and now down on the count, 0-2. That's popped up on the infield. Stevens is there. He's got it, 2 down. And it'll be the third baseman, Luke Cobbins, 3-2. and two. 
That's grounded right side. Wagner tosses it to DeFranc, and that's the inning. So Kansas City still leads at six or seven six, headed to the eighth. So Gutierrez will be up for the bottom eight, and then if all goes well, Ascencio for the ninth. Knock on wood. So Gutierrez will enter for inning number eight. He's got eight, nine, and one in the order. Pitcher slot is now the seven hole. Two and two on Francisco Alonso leading off. And that's strike three. Now the third baseman, Hunter Harrison, who entered the game when the pitcher spot got moved. 0-2 pitch, strike three, and Gutierrez just like that. 1-2 down on strikes. Now Travis Banks, 2-3 for three with two doubles. 3-2 three, pitch, ball four. That's a dangerous man to put on base. They've got Jalen Murray up with two down runner on first 0-1 pitch. Ground ball right side. Vandegrift on to second base, and that's the inning. So we head to the ninth. Royals 7, San Diego 6. And now we'll get up Luis Ascencio for inning number 9. We'll pinch it for Gutierrez. We might as well. We could have just done it without going better by better, but I guess this works too. Stevens has had quite the day. He's 3 for 3. No, he's 0 for 3. Never mind. That's not a good day. He's 0 for 4 now. All right, who's pitching? They've got a righty. We'll give Jimenez a bat. All right, anything else going? Nope. So Luis Escancio will come in for inning 9. He will face the heart of the San Diego order. Leading off is Alex Uria, who struck out three times today so far. Down on the count, 0-2. The pitch swung on and missed. Uria strikes out for the fourth time today. Now here's the big one. Keith Reimers, 2-3 for three on the day. He could easily tie it up with one swing. And that's lined up the middle. Van de Griff makes can't make the dive. It's a base hit. And he will be pinched, ran for it by Justin Doster. So if this inning, if this game goes to extras, they will not have Reamer's bat. Reynoso with a fly to left center field. Mills is there. Two down for Tyler Bourne. 0-1 on the left-handed hitting right fielder. Ascencio to the plate. Fly ball deep right field. Ramirez going back, and that is gone. And Tyler Bourne has walked off San Diego. And the Padres have a 2-0 lead going back to Kansas City. Are you kidding me, Luis? He was so good before this year, and then something clicked, and it all fell to shit. Paying you $13.5 million to give up walk-off home runs. Well, game three, we need a good game from Jordan Schweitzer. We need to win this game. From Kauffman Stadium, bottom first Royals take the lead again on a two run home run by Dale Vandegrift but apparently that's been bad luck now they've got two on with nobody out for Matt Wagner everyone oh wild pitch everyone first five in the Royals lineup are hitting above 300 now two and two on Wagner the pitch is grounded up the middle Reynoso to first one away Ramirez will score it is three nothing now Jabari Mills up one and two one out Swung on and missed. He's starting to struggle. He might not be with the team next year. 1-1 one, one pitch on Castaneda, but you guys won't see that. Ground ball up the middle. Reynoso will not make the play. Infield hit for Castaneda. Lopez to third for Evan Nichols. 1-0 on the second baseman. Ground ball right side. Alonzo can't make the play. That's an error, and a run will score. It is 4-0 Kansas City here in the first. Now... Micah Stevens, 1-0 pitch, fly ball, center field. Banks has it, and that's the inning. But Kansas City scores four times and leads it 4 nothing after one. And Schweitzer hitless through three innings. Now for two on, nobody out, line drive, center field. Banks has it. It will now be Castaneda, 0-1 on the shortstop. Moran's pitch is grounded down the line. Cobbins steps on the bag. On to first, safe. So, fielder's choice, still runners on first and second. Now, two outs for Evan Nichols. 1-0 pitch is grounded second base, or line second base. Alonzo makes the play, and that's the inning. 
after four uh, after three it is still four nothing. Now after four it is four nothing. San Diego has broken the no hitter. But Jordan Schweitzer through six innings has been fantastic. And of course, as soon as I say that, he gives up a leadoff triple. 1 0 pitch, ground ball left side. Castaneda can't get it, and that is the first run for San Diego. It is 4 1 Royals now. Now, runner on second, one out for Todd Reynoso. 1 0 pitch is grounded right side. Nichols to first, out. Uriah to third. Now it'll be Luke Cobbins, 0-2 on the third baseman. Schweitzer's pitch is swung on, grounded up the middle. Schweitzer has it himself on to first, and that's the inning. Seventh inning stretch time, Royals lead it 4-1. to one. Schweitzer gets the eighth, basically no matter what. Royals strike back with a solo shot from Alejandro Lopez, so this middle of the order is really coming alive. It's 5-1 after seven. Top eight, Schweitzer running into some trouble, so now we'll get pitchers up we'll get De Frank and we'll just skip Ascencio I mean he just proved he cannot close out games for us Travis Banks is over three on the day 0-1 pitch fly to center field Velasco is going back that seemed like a harmless fly ball but all of a sudden it is 5-4 and um yeah Schweitzer all of a sudden Gives up three runs. That was quite the shift. We'll bring in DeFrank. He'll face two and three in the order. And all of a sudden, it's a high leverage situation. 3 2 pitch is swung on, grounded up the middle. Base hit, and the tying runs on base for Alex Uria. Pinch runner will be James Brown. Three and two on the catcher. That's lined for a base hit. Brown to second for Keith Reamers. This is not good. Reamers is 0 for 3. He could tie the game with a base hit, and he could very well do that. Fly ball to right. That's going to drop. Are you kidding me? Three straight hits. They've just been harmless little hits, but it's a tie game now. After Banks' home run, strikes out Reynoso. Now Luke Cobbins down the count 1 and 2. That's a strikeout, but... This game, after DeFrank gives up three straight hits, this game is tied going into the ninth. We can't really afford a bullpen battle here. Well, we've got six, seven, and eight. Bottom eight. Can the Royals strike back? They did it in the seventh. 2-2 two, two pitch to Mills is ripped to deep center field. Banks going back. Okay, see, that was ripped into deep center field. Banks was lifted in the air. That was caught, and Banks' was a home run. This game sometimes really doesn't make sense. Now Castaneda, one for three on the day. The pitch is grounded second base quite easily on the first. Two down for Evan Nichols, as Corey Munson will enter the game. So he'll take out the lefty as soon as the lefty comes up. That works. The pitch is lined to right field. See, what did I tell you? Base hit. Now Micah Stevens, you've been pretty useless this series. Can you do something? No, you can't. You pop out to shortstop. We go to the ninth. This game is tied. All right, Hector. Let's see what you got. Leading off is it'll be 7-8-9 in the order. Bourne, Race, and Alonzo. Bourne leads off. He hits a ground ball to Wagner. Base himself. One down for John Rice, the designated hitter. 0-1, oh, or race, sorry. That's fly to left field. That That's going to drop. He's going to second on a bloop to left field. Where was Dale Vandegrift? All of a sudden, the go-ahead run is in scoring position because Dale Vandegrift kind of disappeared. Strikes out Doster, but now it'll be Travis Banks with a chance to give San Diego the lead. 2-1 pitch is grounded. I should stop jinxing myself. God damn. I have this awful tendency of jinxing myself in this game. San Diego leads it. After what seemed like a fantastic game from Schweitzer, all of a sudden, San Diego has a two-run lead. As that double from Brown is going to give it, make it 7-5. Our bullpen, Ascencio Gutierrez and DeFrank have all hurt us in this game. 
in this series, San Diego is three outs away from going up three nothing. It'll be Nate Daly on to close. He's got the heart, the best part of the world's order, but apparently not now. Is a sweet ground ball to shortstop is how Velasquez his day will likely end. Now Dale Vandegrift, 0-1 pitch is swung on, grounded up the middle into center field. That'll bring the tying run up to the plate in Jonathan Ramirez. One and two on the right fielder. The pitch is swung on, grounded to first. Reamers to Dally. Safe and infield hit for the 35-speed Jonathan Ramirez. And the winning run now steps up to the plate in Alejandro Lopez. No pitch. That's grounded. Oh, of course he grounds it into a double play to end the game. Why did I expect anything else? San Diego's one win away from the World Series, from a World Championship. After Schweitzer was an elite pitcher, they last won it. They didn't. They've made the World Series in this series, but they did not win it last year or any year. So would this really be their first World Championship? Ah, crap. It would be. So I guess it's a good story for San Diego. But it's not for me. This could be the last game of this series. John Boishe on the mound. Let's get to it. Top first. Seems like this game can read my mind. And when I'm feeling bad about it, it, you know. Uh... Of course he. So fly ball. Hmm. You guys can. You saw what happened. San Diego takes a one nothing lead after one. Seems it can tell when I'm like defeated, and then it just takes me to shit. Here in the second, Rose have two on with two outs for Micah Stevens, who's been awful in this series, in this whole playoffs, and. He will not change that there. Boy, she's settling in. Now they got Vandegrift on second with two outs. Ground ball right side into right field. Base hit. I'm going to try to score. And we got to take chances when we are, you know. I can't do basic math. What? Mm. Six times three is 18, plus one is 19. We're 19 outs away from our season being over. As we tie the game there on Ramirez a single, we don't have time to take chances. Now a leadoff double. It seems like... Mm, ground ball towards short. I would much rather you have struck him out, but Reamers does hold. So same outcome, really. 3-2 pitch. That's grounded to the right side. Nichols to first. <sighs> I don't really have much to say, except that this game really doesn't want me to win a World Series. Really doesn't want me to win a World Series. It is 3-1 San Diego. This inning would be over, and it would be tied if Evan Nichols didn't chuck the ball into row. What section is that? I don't know. Bottom five, Royals tie it up with a two-run home run from Denny Velasquez, his first of the playoffs. That'll perk me up a bit. Now a double by, or not a double, stolen base. And they intentionally walk Ramirez, and I bet Alejandro Lopez grounds into a double play, even though he's got a 2-0 count. Oh, no, he pops up instead on a 2-0 pitch. Of fucking course. 3-2, and two, um, great professionalism for me, by the way. Oh, I just get. I mean, it's more entertaining for you if I get really fucking pissed and throw something through my window. Because that would be. I. Why do they put that right next to it? I'm glad we won. I'm really glad we won. But seriously, why do I always do that? 
When I first saw 6-3, I thought, oh shit, we lost. But I remembered we were the home team, and we won. So, this series does not end on an accidental misclick. Which would have been fucking hilarious, by the way, but not for me. <sighs> ah. Anyway... Game six, I guess, Royals survive to play another day. It'll be Andrade versus Ortiz. Let's see if the Royals can crack Ivan Ortiz this time around. Bottom first, runner on second. I realize the team that has scored first in the series has lost every single game. Now it's a ground ball up the middle. Into center field, base hit, Velasquez rounding third. He scores, so if history repeats ourselves, we just lost the World Series. one nothing after the first. See, what did I tell you? Right away it goes to hell. 2-0 pitch on Cobbins, grounded to the right side. Nichols, don't throw it into the stands. Thank you. Two down, born to third. Now 3-2 and two on John Race. Ball four. Because why the fuck not? Now runners on the corners with two down. Royals lead at one nothing. Race is running. Throw to second. Safe. You okay? He is fast. I thought for a second he wasn't fast because his name is John and that sounds like a catcher's name. Catchers are slow. I would know. I'm a catcher and I'm very very slow. Ground ball to f pitcher. Still one nothing. Kansas City. That's what I took away from that. Runner on second. Now one down as Murray strikes out. Now Uria, one and two at his account. And he hits a looper down the foul line. Vandegrift makes the catch with a dive. Now Keith Reamers, please strike him out. Please strike him out. Please strike him out. See, it's, it says fly ball to right field. That sounds really harmless. You could have said deep drive to right field, but no, you say fly ball and oh, it's a home run. That doesn't make sense. 2 1 San Diego. I'm pissed at. Oh, and trip. Like, I, triples are the worst for us. It's 3 1. History is repeating itself. I can't win the World Series. That's basically the gist of this series. If you, have, if you haven't been, you know. Hey. If you've never watched a single one of my episodes, here's what I can give you to summarize these 70 episodes. History repeats ourselves. I can't win a fucking World Series. Runner on the third. Two outs for Jalen Murray. One and two on the left fielder. Andrade's pitch is swung on and lined towards right field. I was about to say he's about to get a strike out of the side, but no, it is now 4-1 San Diego. Let's just make it 7-1. Why don't we? I didn't mean that literally. It's like you can hear OOTP, Marcus, Marcus, if you're listening to me, stop fucking with me. I know you can hear me through this microphone. This is not okay. I'm literally saying things right before they happened. I know I said seven, but seven was impossible and he made it six. So, You're an asshole, Marcus. For those who don't know, the dude who made OTV is named Marcus. And he really fucking hates me. Royals need six runs in six innings. Or they lose. As the man we signed to millions of dollars... It's like nine... I signed, like, I signed you for a lot of money. I can't check your profile during game, because why not? 7-3 after two run home run by Castaneda, which I should be thankful for. You shouldn't be in the game. I'm fucking done with you. Wayne Green enters now. All right, so we get, I guess we got one. We have now five innings to score, f or four innings to score four runs. The math still works out. Green is at 31 pitches. He can keep going. Two on one out for John Castaneda. Already has a home run. 3-2 and two on the shortstop. But, of course, why don't we just ground into a quick little double play? Oh, no. Okay. Hard slide by Mills. We'll make runners on the corners. With two outs for Evan Nichols. 
Fly ball, deep center field, banks. See, why? Oh, that pisses. You have no idea how mad I am right now. Because it said deep fly, high fly ball, deep center field. And then it's not even a difficult play for him. But, you know, fly to center field is, oh, it's a fucking home run. How does that make sense? And Wayne Green finally running into trouble. You knew it couldn't really last. Six runs in three innings is what we need now. That's a base hit. We it is now a five-run game. We have nine outs to go. And now Jonathan Ramirez could really do us a solid right here. I'd really appreciate a home run. Marcus. That's an error, and I will absolutely take it. Bases loaded, nobody out here in the seventh for Alejandro Lopez. That's fly ball. Center field. Banks is there. He's got it. Runner. Wait. Why didn't the, if the runner, why didn't he tag from third then? And that'll be Matt Wagner. 2-1 pitches. Fly to center field. Banks is there. See, finally, there he tags up, but you could have, Vandegrift could have tagged up last play, and he could have scored, and this game could be 9-6 now, but instead it's 9-5. Can Jabari Mills do something? He's been terrible. And he can... Why is it that people really fucking hurt you and you need them most? I've got two innings to score four runs. That's two runs per inning. Adam J, don't make this worse for me. Now we're going batter by batter. That's a ground ball right side. See, it's, it says in the hole, and then all of a sudden, oh, Keith Reamers is there. He doesn't... This game misleads me so much, and I fucking hate it. Nichols is over three on the day. That's a weak pop fly. I hate, hate this game so much. And it's another air for San Diego. It's their third. Oh, that's a base hit. Okay, Denny, Denny. I could really use some Denny magic right now. One one pitch on Velasquez. Looper to right center field. Born makes the catch. He says born running hard, and then all of a sudden he makes a catch instead of like makes a running catch or makes the tough catch. But no, he just makes a fucking catch. I don't... Ugh. It's We need five runs here in the ninth. Another error. Alright. It seems like Marcus feels bad for me. Jonathan Ramirez hits a line drive towards left center field. That's a base hit. Vandegrift to third. Now Alejandro Lopez, who'll probably ground into a double play, or he just strikes out, because that works too. Now Corey Munson will enter the game, facing Matt Wagner. Two and two is the count on the first baseman. He doesn't even try. Marcus realized... All right, here we go. Jabari strikes out. Royals lose. Oh, that's a line drive to right field. But see, reverse psychology works. Now, I said we have to be aggressive. But here, if we lose on a, trying to advance a runner, that would be fucking awful. All right, John Castaneda. We don't really have a better option. Nate Daly, the closer, will enter. 0-1 on the Royals shortstop. He does already have a home run today. That's a line drive to the left side. Diving... Why don't they just win the World Series on a fucking bullshit, ridiculous diving play? Because why not? And there you go. San Diego wins their first franchise World Series, and once again, I lose. So this is my... This is my first failed OOTP game. This is the first time I've never won the World Series because I'm not going to keep playing this. I'm going to take the next 23 days off, kind of cool myself down from OOTP, make, you know, the next, um, make OOTP 17, 18 just a lot of fun. So I guess that's it. OOTP hates me. Even though I give it my unconditional love, and it giveth very little and it taketh away very much. 
we should have won game two. Game, we should have won game three. We lost game one and game five. That's fine. But should be going back to San Diego. You know, Royals had a chance to win, but they didn't. Anyway. <sighs> I was expecting to be really sentimental here. Like, guys, we won the World Series. And lost that. Yeah, I was expecting to win a World Series. But now I'm kind of... I'm not shocked that we didn't. Of course, that was... You don't ever put anything past your team. But anyway, this is it. This is it for OOTP 17. This is... I w if I had finished this sooner, I would have probably played like 50 years into the future. It has gone batshit crazy with this franchise. But since I am a dumbass and a slow ass and a fat ass and basically a lazy ass and... Yeah, that's a good way of summarizing it. I was not able to get... It done on even on time a month early. I still couldn't do that. I couldn't even get the second to last episode out a month early. But um, that's it. Anyway, let's time time to get sentimental, guys. You all are amazing. I am over one hundred subscribers, which is awesome. That I go to a pretty small school, even though I live in Kansas City, big city. I go to a pretty small school. And, um, you know, there's 116 people in my class. That's, you know, you got, they're, most of you, that's a majority of my high school class. And so, that's pretty awesome. This series has completely changed my channel it's been an amazing experience i've had so much fun from the responses i've gotten and i see that you guys have enjoyed it just as much as i have and you all are amazing this has been so much fun and now i'm just kind of grasping at straws trying to i don't want to end it i was really hoping to end this in a world series championship damn it but i'm not allowed nice things Ergo, this series ends on a kind of low note. Um, yeah, March 24th, there will be an OTP 18 episode. You can bet your fucking britches. I'll be all over this game when it comes out. Um, that's about it. Do I want to do a team reveal? For OTP 18. I'm going to leave it a surprise, I think. Oh, but the thumbnail will give it away. But I still... I'm starting to second guess whether I want to do this team at all. But... I don't think there's a team I'd rather do than this team. <laughs> you guys must think I'm crazy. So, you know what? I'll leave you guys with this. There are three teams... I'm considering. These are my top three, which the, the series will definitely definitely be one of these three. And um, yeah. All right, I'll tell you the three. They are first and foremost number one. Actually, they, there's not in any order. I'm just literally looking at a poster with the pictures of the MLB team logos, as I said, dragging it on, and um, just listing you the three that I'm considering doing. And I'm not just looking. I'm like, hmm, that would be fun. I'm actually like thinking. I've been thinking about this for a while. So the three teams from the American League, there's one team, the Seattle Mariners. From the National League, there are two teams the Arizona Diamondbacks, and the Miami Marlins. OTP 18 will be one of those three teams. And if I get that series done sooner, then I got this series done. And I'm going to do an expansion franchise, which I think will be fun. I already know the team. Um, I feel like it's kind of a creative, you know, kind of, oh, that's cool little logo. I've, I've actually been working on the uniforms and shit. 
but I can't drag this out any longer. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has really been an honor from all the support you've given me. And I've just had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have too. So for the final time in OTP 17, this is William Baker saying thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in 23 days. Keep it real, y'all. Goodbye.